Hey everyone, it's Alan Cousins here from Overson Golf Club and welcome to this week's episode of the Friday Fix. Got a busy show lined up for you this week with a few little updates about what's new in the shop. Uh, we've got an update on the captain's challenge match that we played against Kev Mann and Neil Webster. And we've also got an update on some of the junior poppy golf matches that were played. And also we've got a good tip of the week for you on how to get out of a bunker. So stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, so just a little update on the shop and what we've been getting up to this week. Uh, no major new arrivals in this week. Um, still got plenty in store. As you can see in the background there, we've got plenty of Galvin Green clothing in, loads of different sizes. We've also got pin clothing, uh, loads of hardware that you can all try out as well. All at great prices, so get yourself down, have a browse in the shop and see if you can grab a bargain. So one Friday we played one of our uh, captain challenge matches against uh, Neil Webster and Kevin Mann. It was a good game. Um, we were up against it from the very start. Uh, Kevin and Neil were 8 under par better ball through 7 holes and we were 3 down at that point. So I was thinking it was going to be a, a, a bit of a, a tough match at that point. Um, but we did manage to win the 8th, 9th and 10th, pull it back to all square and it got pretty tight from there on in and we just lost the game on the 18th so unfortunately our uh, unbeaten record has come to an end um, but not to worry uh, it was a great game good good banter all the way around and great to see some some good golf played by everybody who took part uh, look forward to the next match which is going to be against Glenn Rhodes and Grant Robinson I'm sure we'll have a right good laugh in that one so uh, good luck fellas but not too much good luck because we want to win. Also got a big well done to say to our junior Poppy Golf team who played Beamish Golf Club here at Ulverston on uh, Sunday and they had a great result. Uh, two better ball matches won three up so it was a six up win in total and they're on through to the next round playing against Preston Golf Club. So well done to Ethan Cole, Sam Beddows, Bradley Fell and Luke Quinn Great result lads and crack on in the next round, keep going. Join us now out on the practice chipping area where we've got some really good tips for you to help get out of bunkers. Okay folks, so just going to go through some really good tips to help you get out of the greenside bunker. First thing to remember is that it is a hazard and it is designed to give you some difficulty in getting it out. So the main aim is just getting it out on the green, get confident and then you can start honing in the distances and, and looking at ways of controlling it. Okay. So the first thing we're going to look at using is a high lofted club like a sand wedge or a lob wedge. My personal preference for greenside bunkers is a lob wedge because I like to you know, sort of feel like I've got a long swing at it so I can attack the ball with a bit of power. Um, where a lot of people go wrong though with the bunker shots is where they actually strike the sand. So we want to aim at getting the sand about half an inch or an inch behind the ball with a good positive downswing. That way you'll get a good clean connection on it, you'll be able to control the spin well on the ball and get it out of the bunker. Okay. When it comes to distance control, there's two options there as well. So you can open the face a little bit to create a bit more height, uh, take a little bit of distance off it, or you can sort of you know, square the face up a little bit more so it'll come out a bit lower and then perhaps go a bit further, both of which I'll demonstrate to you now. Okay, so to start with, I've just got a ball set up here. I'm going to try and play a fairly high bunker shot, so I'm going to open the face on my 58. I'm going to try and strike the sand about half an inch behind the ball. I'm going to put a decent long swing on it and hopefully uh, it comes out nice and clean with a good bit of height. Okay, so you should see from that last shot, it came out quite high, nice good connection on it. Just made sure I did a good long backswing, good positive acceleration on the downswing. Uh, you might see I opened my stance a little bit as well, just to encourage me to hit across a little bit more. Again, it just helps you know get a little bit more control out of the shot. Um, I'm just going to now take a little bit of a squarer stance and a squarer club head, and it should 
come out a little bit lower but fly a little bit further this one so hopefully folks there's some good tips there for you to help you get out of a greenside bunker remember take a fairly high lofted club like your sand wedge or a, a 58 or a 60 degree lob wedge be really positive with your swing action remember you've got to hit the sand first about half an inch behind the ball but the main thing really don't quit on it make sure you get a good acceleration when you hit through the shot if you start slowing your downswing uh, down a little bit when you're hitting it the sand's just going to eat the club up and it's not going to get enough power to get the ball lifted out so be really positive with them and give yourself time to get a bit of practice, a bit of warming up before each round. Get yourself in this practice bunker here and give it a go, give it a, you know, a good few shots before you go out there so you can build that confidence up. All right. Hope you've enjoyed this week's video and uh, give us a shout if there's any suggestions, any answers uh, to questions that you might have. Just let me know. Thanks. Bye.